Welcome back to Box of Lunch as we continue the Dawn of the Zeds playthrough. Let's start with a couple of corrections. First off, these Zeds up here, now in the Mole Districts, picked up a wound when they killed our villagers up here. I forgot to mark that up, so let's do that now. They're still standing, unaffected, effectively. And also Bob Bauer's crew down here. I made the mistake of using an 8 on equal to 2-1 when we were fighting down here. It should have been a 2-2. So Bob needs another wound, which unfortunately means Bob is defeated. Bob Bauer's crew is out of here. So let's make that saving roll, if you're ever unsure. Heroic civilians, do they get a saving roll? Yes, they do. It's on the reference card. Let's see what we can do. And we failed. Unlucky Bob. Straight to the graveyard. So that's it. We're ready to get growing. We've got two actions. Let's see what we can do. And clearly I need to do something about these Zeds up here. So I'm going to use one action to move Wilson back behind the nuclear pile. He has a movement of four. So we're going to go one. Leave him here. That's one action. Next action. Possibly a little controversial. But I'm going to move Doc Siva to the hospital. But I want to make use of his medical and first aid abilities. Let's move him over here. Then we're going to use medical, which is a free heal action. And that removes the EKG, which is his last wound. So it goes back to just one wound here. Okay, so we've removed the, the X, if you like. And then for the first aid, I'm going to heal these fleeing refugees. The difference between the medical and the first aid, first aid can be done at any space or adjacent space but it does cost one supply um, and every time you heal you reduce the infection by one so that takes us back down to five. You can't heal the same unit more than once. Now I can do a couple of free actions. These fleeing refugees, I'm going to discharge them into town centre. Now it does say when refugees hit town centre you raise the infection level. I'm not sure if that counts for when you discharge refugees. Uh, there's nothing to say you can't so I'm going to assume it does. Anyway once you've discharged them they go to the refugee camp and then there's another free action you can equip the refugees. So I'm going to spend this and these become like a regular civilian unit but not any civilian unit only regular ones that are in the graveyard. So I'm going to take this one, so swap those out. We've effectively upgraded those refugees from what was in the graveyard. Okay, And now those go back to town centre. And this is where now I can use the WZED emergency broadcast to move those new civilian units into this spot here to take on these Zeds. It says advantage, it's four versus three. So let's roll. Two dice. We're on the attack here, we're not defending. Eleven, that's a beauty. Whoa, just when I needed it. Right, eleven with Zed's advantage. Two hits to them, one to us, and they retreat. Brilliant. So the first hit is going to flip them. The second one goes on and then they retreat. And they're a pretty weak Z. Some of these four straight Zs have ones on the back. Some have two. Some have three. All right. So um, look out for that. Uh, we take one hit. Infection level goes up for the hands of hand. And after all that, we've got one player action left. I could take these on again. 
I quite like the fact that we're hunkered down in the Mal district. So I think we're going to do something with Alyssa over here. Possibly just bring her back behind this defensive line. I think that's all we can do. I could bring her back to town centre. One, two, three, four, five. So, yeah, she's got a good reach. Let's do that. Let's bring her back to town centre. Okay. And refresh. Ready for turn eight. Let's see what we get. The doctor is in. Now, this one's going to be more relevant when we're playing player versus Zed's games. We're solitaire, so we ignore this. Okay, so 0-4-R, no infection, no eat. It says at the end of this phase, immediately place infection level to 13 and conduct an unchecked outbreak. Incidentally, this, these with the exclamation mark, the, the developers have told me that this is going to change slightly, these cards, for the final version, in that they won't place any Zeds on tracks with more than one Z already on it. So it kind of eases eases up on the difficulty a little bit. So um, beware of that. That this may play out a little bit different when you get the the final version. For now though, let's do as it says. So this goes up to 13. We roll two dice. Nasty. We've only got a four. One, two, three, four. And it's going to go on. What does the fate say? Player's choice. This is a hold for later card. I was looking forward to seeing this one because this is going to give us a bonus in a fight. We can use the kill dozer. Okay, where should we put this? Let's see, let's see. Or possibly. Yeah, let's do the highway track. Wow. This guy's crazy. Remember, these guys come at the closest chaos marker. There's already two Zs here, so that's the stacking limit reach. So this one's going to go here. You're looking at this and thinking, hey, this is pretty weak. But... <laughs> Yeah, he suddenly gets pretty ferocious if you hit him and don't do enough damage to take him out. Nasty. Okay. Let's see. We've got highway track, mountain track, and the tunnel tracks all activating. Highway first then. These guys come forward, this guy comes forward. Mountain track. These guys are moving in here. It's four versus four, but we have the defensive barrier, so that's a two right shift. Let's, um, we're not going to use this, let's, let's roll. That's a nine, that's a good roll. So we've got equal to, with two right shifts, a nine. Three hits on them, none on us. Brilliant. So three hits is enough to flip them and send them back to Lefty's Pass. And finally the tunnel track. Uh, we need to roll to see if this Zed makes it out of the catacombs. Six would be good. No, it's a two. So they advance. They advance. And then this unit also needs to roll. Let's see what we can do. Come on. No, another two. Those rolls aren't helping us. What's this done then? We only get one action for the round. First off though, let's use Doc's medical action. And we'll heal here. Not enough to flip them. 
Healing takes time. Ah, let's reveal this as well because of Wilson's ability. And the next thing is happening in the forest. So let's see. Let's use WZMD Farming Dow. Let's move these civilians up into this base here. Try and push. Well, let's try and take those guys out. We'll roll two dice. Roll five. Um, we're at humans times three. So it's going to be three hits on them, one on us. That's going to flip these civilians and kill. Oops, and kill this says unit. Okay, that's what I wanted. And of course, infection goes up one. Let's see now. We know the next out there is probably going to be an outbreak in the forest, which puts it at the farm. Let's move Alyssa in here. And I could have moved those in but what I want to do is this. One, two, three, four. It's a Z's advantage. So we just need to roll a die for Alyssa's assassin strike. It's a four. So she gets two right shift. Yep, no increase in infection and she doesn't take any damage. Let's roll our two dice. It's an eight. So Z's advantage with a two right shift because uh, three hits on them, one on us. But of course, she doesn't. So one, two, three is going to flip them and force them backwards. And we are going to see something new happen this turn because Elizabeth's at the farm, which is in chaos. This is. Zed's controlled still, so she has to calm that chaos, but that's not going to happen until the, the refresh, the housekeeper phase. So for now, Alyssa can no longer act. She's locked in by this chaos. And I think it's time we made Pickles a little bit more useful. I want to bring him one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way back to east side, but I do have to make a stealth check. That chaos marker doesn't affect him. He's a canine. He's not stopped by chaos. So let's roll anything other than one. Okay. Make it good. Six. All right. Excellent. So we've made it over to east side. And that's going to wrap up our. That's going to wrap up our turn. I could first aid this unit with Doc. But I'm going to save my supplies. I'm going to save my supplies for now. Actually, why not? Let's just do it. Seven. Why not? Tough times. Okay. And before I forget, we did two heals this turn. So, we should be back at eight. So, still, still high risk for infection. And also, because we're in the housekeeping phase now, we get to look at that chaos at the farm. So here you are, remember sequence of play, finished our ha uh, action phase, housekeeping next. And the housekeeping says, if you've got a character at the same location as a chaos marker, then you get to remove it, which is a restore order, increasing infection once more. But Alyssa is free to act next turn. Just before we wrap up, I do have one correction to make. Um, I've just realised when you equip refugees, you bring your villagers in, they should come in with the weaker side up. So, what does that mean? It means when I faced these Zeds, it wasn't Zed's advantage, it was Zeds times two, and I rolled an 11. Instead of one damage to us, it should have been two damage to us, which would have killed those villagers. So I'm just going to take them away. I will make a quick saving roll for them. Yeah, no good. It's a three. Right, that's it. We're all square. I'll see you next time. 
for turn nine.